Would you rather be able to control time or know what other people are thinking? Control time. Control time. If you can control time, timing is timing is everything. Everything. Imagine you didn't brush your teeth or whatever. You waited to do this or whatever. Or, oh, you know what? Let me just not worry about this. That changed something because that amount of time, something else happened. Everything is nonstop going. That's all I think about is time. Uh, and I'm like, if you don't take advantage of the time, uh huh, it's because it's, oh, it's, it's going to go no matter what. I'm doing control time only off the simple fact that people thoughts are fucked up. Like, honestly, like, you be thinking about some outrageous ass shit. And, it's and then the if people just all, like focus on the int- intrusive thoughts, this world be fucked up. Like, this world be really be destroyed for real. <laughs> and, then, and then everybody, you know, just in this room right here, everybody just thinking about stuff. You just looking like. Oh shit! It's like to normal. it's trying to be normal, but, <laughs> but they some he shit might be thinking about head. some bullshit. Yeah. And I'm just it like, just bro, happens. we need to get the fuck up out of here. Yeah. I'm, and like you said, controlling time is so it's it's the key factor. It's, it's just stopping time. Like you know what? I'm just gonna stop time because I don't want to hear you talk. It's just like thinking. <laughs> you just stop and you just need to think for a second. Uh-huh. That's all. That all applies to the same thing. Yeah. You just stop and you think for a second, breathe. You know, whatever. But yeah, same shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What about you? If I was an evil villain, Mars on mindset, I would read people's minds because I'm taking people's bank accounts. Um, you know what I'm saying? You can like get all so of many, it. It's inform. Okay, if we have we, we understand that information is really power, like it's key. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? You need to know how to do stuff, bro. If you and then I would put myself around the elites and find out what it is that they know. Okay. I mean, I don't even think it's for evil. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I was just saying, like, but it my, is like a villain thing. Right. It yeah, is like a villain right. thing because like, you yeah. you get into somebody's thoughts, you get in the whole package. Like, you know, when everything yeah. at that point yeah. is that's good it. and bad. However, mm-hmm. however, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like that's why I said like the doctor evil this, mindset. This like, generation fucked up. This generation fucked up. A nigga be like, yeah, I'm trying to read my bitch mind. Don't do that. That's like checking your bitch phone. You don't want to see that. Like, you do not want to see you that. You looking for trouble. You going to find trouble. I don't want to read nobody mind knowing what they think. No. Nope. Fuck that. Words, That's it, for you. It really comes down to what are you going to do with it. It comes down to how are you going to use it. Yeah. Right. You're yeah. thinking how, at that point. How are you going to use your power? Right. Are you going to use it to help or are you going to use it for a personal gain? Right. Because especially with time, if you stop time or even alter time, it alters your future, though. Mm. Exactly. I was going to bring that up. The butterfly effect. Yeah. Y'all seen the movie? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. That, uh, yeah, time is, is very dangerous, like, mm-hmm. to, to time travel in general, because you don't know what the outcome. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing about the butterfly effect is he had to keep going back in time. Because yeah. he controlled time in yeah. a sense. He had to keep going back in time because he kept fucking it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he yeah. was like, oh shit, I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> Let me it go comes back. Down, and, yeah. You know, you know what, though? It comes down to like, <laughs> would that work, though? Because being that that never happened, like, who knows? It Would it be that that's part of history now that you went back in time? Because now history happened, but then you got new history where you mm-hmm. went back in time yeah. so you didn't change anything really it just applied to what you did so so, so, there's so it, many you're taking angles. into like uh what marvel been doing lately with these alternate universes like with the loki series exactly. you know what i'm saying yeah. where you're like what you did it doesn't really change but you kind of made a different timeline it, yep. it, it already happened, happened. Yep. so you made a different timeline so you have all these you really different... didn't undo anything oh, yeah mm-hmm. that timeline. shit just happened Absolutely. Mm-hmm. what's your current pet peeve my current pet peeve my current pet peeve is current pet peeve is always liars. Liars. Oh! liars. <laughs> this year is for truth. Is liars. This is the year for truth. Lie, bro. Like, if it's a lie, I'm tripping. That's a fact. That got me questioning everything right now. Um, <laughs> this is the year for that for, shit. For for me, I'm I'm never the person to lie to. I don't. I'm very truthful. Um, I don't. I'm an open book. So if you lie to me, it's just like you really hurting yourself. You really not hurting me. So. I mean, if you lie on your own, like everything that comes is everything's in the dark will come to the light regardless. So liars. Um, what's another pet peeve that I hate? Um procrastinators. If you procrastinate oh, all the time, I'm not fucking with you. If oh I'm gonna do it, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to it. Because nothing's getting done. Nothing Hip- will ever be a done. hypocrite. Oh, oh, um, hey, that too. Uh, that's a big thing right what's now. another one? <laughs> you wait, wait, that's a big thing. People just being pure fucking lazy. Laziness. Oh, being lazy. Because mm-hmm. like I knew someone who stayed with someone, and then 
you know, you try to be nice and help them get on their feet. But then when you notice, you ask them, okay, how much have you saved so far so you can get your own place? Because at, at some point, you telling them, okay, I'm about tired of seeing you laying on my goddamn couch all day. Right. Yeah, shit. Nah, yeah. What are you doing you to better yourself? Else, you need to be working and grinding. Right. Like, yeah. You know, nonstop. Because if you're a grown-ass adult and you staying with a friend who's nice enough to let you stay with them, eventually it's like, okay, I am not your parent. Right. I got to literally mm-hmm. force you to get out my house so you can finally get your shit together. Right. Why? You're grown. Yeah, right. You've been taught this. I got I got another one. And look, I'm not I'm not fat I'm not fatophobic. I'm not fatophobic. I'm not, right? But I do hate like the people that are fat, they'd be like, man, why ain't never nothing good for the fat people? So I seen this video on Instagram, right? Um, this 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 real big lady went to the went to a stadium, went to a game, but the seats were not a, equipped for, equipped for fat for bigger people, right? But she was hating. She was like downing the stadium, like, why they ain't build nothing for? Why we have to build something for you, fat motherfuckers? Get skinny. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want from me. Um. <laughs> Uh, or just or just live through it. Like, I don't know what you want. Like what? What? I got my two seats. What? BBW is just on your house, bro. Hey, it is what it is. You can hate. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, gay. But don't 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 hate. Don't be mad when we don't build some or buy two seats. You get mad we gotta buy two seats, huh? On the airplane, right? We want to make a bigger airplane for you, big mother. No, I'm not doing it. No, it, it took a lot for it, me to go to the gym and get skinny. You got the same membership. I, I pay the same membership at EOS, just like you motherfuckers can. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can be on my top. You can pay. Hey, I give a fuck. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You can go on there and be mad. Some people got health problems. Okay, if you got a health problem, okay, if you got a health problem, that's a different story. If you got a health problem, that's a different story. You have a health problem. I don't give a fuck. But if you just fat and sloppy, oh, I'm depressed, so I'm about to eat. Oh, are you depressed? Oh, you spent you spent your money on that, not me. Don't be mad because you bought that. There's a difference of being obese and just being fat and lazy. Oh, okay, you're right. It's a big difference. But this is, okay, obese is what? Well, that's a mindset though. You can you put yourself in a mind. One more question. Go ahead. What's your biggest life regret? Uh, <sighs> especially nowadays, it's like. I guess. You know what? My biggest life regret is being mean to like, being, being mean to my sister. Yeah, that's like one of my biggest life regret. That helps me be like, you know, you just be a mean brother. Mm-hmm. That really, on like, for real, like, help. Like, I don't, I'm so respectful for for that just because of that. Like, I used to be mean. You know, you know, when you're just a little brother, and you be mean. But on like on a bigger scale, yeah, just that made me help respect like towards women more so that like just even though i was a kid yeah that's a regret because i think back like damn you did that you know like oh my gosh y'all. i'm very gentle now because of even though it was i was a kid like just towards being mean to my sister really changed that whole aspect <laughs> you know but yeah Anybody um else? my <laughs> biggest <laughs> god damn y'all my biggest regret i mean gd is <laughs> Gosh, mm. I'll be with you. I'll be with oh, you. Wait yeah, for me. Really big I'll be right there. I think everything happens for a reason. So it's just like, if if I didn't do this, then I won't be who I am today. At the end of the day, you know what In I'm general. saying. Yeah, so uh, like, you know, just dealing with certain women. Don't get me wrong. Like we all be like, oh, I fuck that bitch. That's my ex. Whatever. Da da da. But at the end of the day, you need to be with that person at the time so you can be who you are right now. Mm. Um, so. Actually, I don't have no regrets. Everything I do is is pretty much genuine. Like I do it, I, you know, I think about everything I do and everything. I, yeah, I know the outcome. Honestly, so. no. So really, no regrets because no. you learn from it. Yeah. You know, if you didn't take it there, you're like obviously if you take it, you draw the line. But if you didn't, then yeah, like learn from it. So yeah, really, the regret is like if I regret having no regrets. Honestly, right. I guess that's that because you want to learn from that. So honestly, what you said is pretty spot on. That's like. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I I got something that I think I might regret, but I don't know because knowing what I know about the industry now, I feel like it's a good thing that it didn't happen because I was naive and I would have signed contracts that I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, like that I wasn't ready for. Um, I had a, a artist development deal with Interscope back when I was like 17 and a half. Mm-hmm. And um, 
I didn't want to do it because I was like, basically, y'all niggas fuck with me. Y'all just, like, because they wanted me to do, like, go, like writing music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, for other people's shit, you know what I'm saying, while I develop myself. And I was like, so y'all fuck with the music, but y'all don't fuck, fuck with, with me. Like, you. okay, you just, you gave me the clarification I needed as far as, like, I know that my music is dope enough, now I just got to work on myself and I can invest in myself. I didn't realize that. I was missing on missing out on major connections. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you write for artists, you know what I'm saying? Royalties. You know what I'm saying? That was a a, a big foot in the door. You know what I'm saying? That's something I could have been. I, even if I would have wrote like ten songs, that's something I could have been getting paid off of still to this day if they would have blew. You mm -hmm. feel me? And so like I feel like, but part of me felt like I would have got taken advantage of because I didn't know no better and I was just hungry and didn't. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no. Um, I didn't know the game as mm -hmm. far as like the music business. I didn't know the business of the music business. I was just an artist. So I kind of felt like things happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? God wanted to take his time and, and mold me a little bit more mm -hmm. beforehand. So I, I kind of don't regret it. You know what I mean? But a, a part of me feel like it. You know what I mean? Like if I would alter something, it might have been that <laughs> type deal. <Yeah>. Like <laughs> the timing thing. Uh, yeah. it's the very last question. Oh, shit. <laughs> Poppy nails and ruined everything. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck all that shit. Oh my god. Oh, I got ruined everything because I like to that be honest. Shit it's crazy. Crazy. Rolling. I haven't laughed. I don't think I laughed that hard all year. <laughs> I did not laugh hard all year. Like, I didn't, then. but I did though. At 11.30. You said you bought it at 9.30. You know you fucked up, right? Oh, uh, don't be a menace. You know you fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up, right? Does your family have any weird traditions? If so, what is it? Yes and no. Everybody does. Everybody does. What is it? So, like... Hey, I'm on one. <laughs> 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 I'm on one. <laughs> <My own. laughs> Rebuttal from the last one. No. But, but everybody to a degree does because... When when is it that everybody goes over to somebody's house that's doing their shit? Everybody always in their mind is like, oh damn, this ain't like my family, because everybody has their family or whoever they're really living with. Oh, you mean like Diddy weird? You mean like Diddy weird? Freak. Okay, well, what you mean? <laughs> that's what I mean. So if you different. You always notice that. Like, I don't really have like, a tradition at my house. I mean, as we have weird. It's like a comfort level, cause like you're comfortable with whatever, even if it's not super like is whatever. Yeah, you might. Yeah, so like, let's say somebody doesn't do that, and it's like, oh, you got you don't clean your walls. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Little little shit like. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's like we get to y'all a little bit. Is there yes. any tradition that yes. your family has, right, that they do like every year or every week or something that you feel is a little weird? No, I don't have one of those. Yeah, mm -mm. Nah. No. Nope. It feel like them barbecues. You know, everybody love them barbecue weekends. Everybody come through. It come nah, to a race day at that those. point. They be like, oh, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. But nah. Nah, I mean, nah. I feel like what Cuddy was saying earlier about like every family has its quirks or whatever. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like, and... People do things differently all the time. Do I? I mean, and what may be weird to to me may not be weird to you. Right. You know what that's I'm what saying? I'm saying. May, like, I may think that this shit is completely So, I, I would probably, I, too, right? honestly, I would probably, like, like, fix that question as what is the, what's funny, what's some funny things that your family do that, you, like, you think is funny? Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, when we go to, like, the family, I like barbecues. If your food nasty, we put your food down oh, and, on, in the garbage. Like, yeah, like right, right. Oh, if yeah. it's, like, you know, like some, some family bad, tradition. Yeah, oh, like, some shit like that. Like, man. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of those. You know, it's always some fights, some, you know. There's plenty of those. I mean, I'm raised in the, a real pure black home, you know what I'm saying? That's what I said, Domino stage, you know what I'm saying? Barbecue, some real barbecue, you know, backyard, Ooh. you know, some backyard shit. You know, but I don't know. Everybody family is different. I don't There's really know what slight. your family do. You know, so, you know, Hispanics do. They drink Modellos, you know what I'm saying? Coronas all and the fucking time. If you'd have gone to those different that, types yeah. of like celebrations, that's cool too, though, because I didn't went to others. But you'd be like, oh, that's how they get down. Yeah, yeah I fucks with like, it. I know hey, about the Mexicans. Down, they don't. Know? They don't stop dancing Man. until four o'clock in the four, five, five, five o'clock in the morning. I'm like, bro, let me go home. Like, what's wrong with you? Um, but that's just my aspect on you know different types of families, a different culture, doing different shit. So, I'm gonna close it out. I think it's not a weird tradition. It's just well, it is just that. One of my brothers do because he's like so big on Christmas. It's like his favorite holiday. I literally walk in his house and he will literally have a fucking forest of Christmas trees 
spread throughout the house. He even has like a big giant one in like there. More than one tree? More than one tree. He no, literally no, has that's some one weird shit. Where as soon as you walk in, <laughs> in the foyer, it's a giant ass tree and had the Actually nerve to have a train track go around it. Okay, and the train track's cool. I'm just like, like damn, the tree. Yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> right. I'm saying at this yeah. point. It's like, okay, you got the Michael it's Jackson experience and shit for yeah. Christmas. Because I came yeah. over and I'm we at the mall. What's going on? And he's like, no, there's more upstairs. I said, oh, there's, there's more. <laughs> and there's more. And there's.